going on everybody out there on YouTube? Check out the hat. I love this hat, it's dope. Master fit, perfect. Check out the fit. Check out the shoes. Dope. But I'm just bringing um, just another video. I know it's been a while. I've been trying to get myself together and get ideas together on how I want to begin editing some of my videos just to get uh, my content better. Um, I've been doing this for a minute and I'm kind of not getting the results. So I want to try some different things. But thanks for everybody that has subscribed. To the future people, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It should be over there. And, or over there, it's on one of these sides, just a little red button at the bottom of the screen. Hit that subscribe button, make any comment. I comment on all my videos. I know most people um, be interested in my videos about my car, as you can see, the SS. So I'm gonna start bringing more SS content. Um, Cause I do be doing the fool in it, to be honest with you, you know, running late for work, all types of shit, going sideways. Yeah, I do all that shit, but uh, I don't ever record it. So I gotta step my game up and actually start recording that stuff so people can see it. And I wanna know, man, what's up with everybody out there in the SS world? Like I watch YouTube and there's so many people in the Mopar world, so many chargers and challengers. You know, I used to have a challenger and like in my in my little neighborhood, man, it was like a hundred of them. It's like everybody got them challengers, them Hellcats, them Chargers. They out here heavy. And to be honest, Mopar out here representing heavy, man. Like all the little Mopar cliques. All I know, I know it's a Camaro club out here, but you don't see. I don't see them representing heavy like I see Mopar out here representing heavy. And definitely not on YouTube. Mopar heavy on YouTube. Um, they some well built engines, man. Them Hellcats, them SRTs. Them some bad boys. I ain't gonna lie. But I don't have a challenger no more, so I'm not Mopar. Always been a fan of Camaro. They came out with this body style. I had to have it because it's one of my, it, to me, it's the best Camaro body style that they made. <clears throat> Plus, I had to get in convertible since I'm down here in Texas now. So those two things I must have had. Um, I plan on doing a lot of modifications to it come next year. Um, so stay, just stay tuned for all of that kind of stuff. I don't be having the time to do a lot of things right now, but next year I will be stepping all of those, doing those things up. And I'm gonna do it myself type. It's a lot of stuff I like to do myself to my vehicles. I mean, because I was a mechanic for nearly 10 years, so it's a lot of things I can do myself. I had the knowledge to do it. It's just a matter of having the time to do it. And of course, the number one thing, number one, the money. Shit ain't cheap out here. But in any case, I'm gonna go and get to this video. I'm gonna start getting a little bit more driving content, a couple burnouts, little shit that I be doing. Um, I got people all the time pulling up on me like, damn, you know, people be thinking uh, my car not even stock. You know, these some bad motherfuckers stock. You know, I understand people modifying their cars and beefing their cars up and doing all these different kind of things. So they, they, they Camaros, camming them, pro charging them, all that type of shit, which is dope. You know what I mean? I'm not about to void my factory warranty until I reach 100,000. Then I can start modifying my engine, but I'm not modifying a damn thing until this engine and trans prove and grand prove to me that it's gonna make it to a hundred thousand so people out there doing that hey that's cool for y'all but this is a bad motherfucker stock to me um i had an rt challenger this blows it out the window in my opinion i didn't have an srt i know they're a little bit more powerful but they're a little bit more heavy too so it's the pros and cons of both um to me this 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 is far superior in handling than any charger rt srt any of that shit that i've been in the handling is impeccable. So I'm very happy with my purchase, very happy. <clears throat> I wish I would've got the two before I knew it was the two SS, the one SS, all that old bullshit. They should've just, I mean, I guess they gotta make different packages at different prices, but had I known I, the two SS, I probably would've got that instead of the one SS. But in any case, I got a super good deal. I was able to change all my seats, which I had to have this red SS symbol on my seats. That was a must have for me. Had to have that shit, so I got it. And now it's just a matter of making all the different changes that I want to make. In any case, stay tuned to the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I will be bringing more content at least once or twice a week. Stepping my game up now that I can be able to um, I download some good editing software. So I'm going to be trying my editing thing. Let me know if y'all like it. And let's continue to make the channel grow. Peace. All right, before I get my day started, thought I'd hit y'all with a little cold start.
the two with the just the same basic dual exhaust. The car is still pretty much kick. In any case, it's time to hit the road. Leave them with a little something. 